Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tectonic Takes. I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video just updating you guys on all the transfers and everything that's all the transfer rumors that's happening with San Jose. And I wanted to give you a little bit of a tidbit. Um, I got some sources to tell me that the Jackson Ewell transfer is not set in stone. And then another report came later at night that Charlotte was looking into Aaron Ramsey. So it, it, that one is one to keep an eye on. I actually think the Marcos Lopez one is a little more set in stone just because the way his contract is working, he would actually le leave on a free in December if we don't go ahead and either sell him now or resign him to a new contract, which he actually just resigned a one year deal with us last year. Um, so I could see that happening. He's always had the ambition to go to, to, to Spain. At least he's always said he wanted to go, but you know, the Dutch league is a good stepping stone to eventually reach La Liga. Um, but I also wanted to talk about the Cade Cal rumors. Um, Cade Cal is definitely a guy who is going to be in Europe, I would say in three to four years. Um, it wouldn't hurt to kind of had, have a big kind of sell on fee right now, just like all the other MLS programs are having with FC Dallas and Philadelphia Union. They went ahead and sold some of their guys, and they recently just got sold to another club, so they made another additional fee onto it. So selling Cade Cowell this early might not be such a big deal because um, we will make up the money in the long run if we make sure we have those sell-on clauses. Um, and Cade, I mean, we all love Cade, but we all feel like it would be a big step in his career, and we would all support him if he went to Europe. I mean, when's the last time there was a quake in Europe that wasn't Lane, named Landon Donovan, you know? So it's definitely something to be really excited for. Um, I also think the Jackson Yule trade is something that we can all get excited for, too. I know a lot of us love Cap Jackson Yule. He's our captain. He's someone that is always going to be there in our hearts. But at the end of the day, this is a business, and we do have to go ahead and, and either put some W's on the, on the chart, or we have to bring in some dollar signs. And if we can get Jackson Yule, you know, into a situation where he would start on a playoff, you know, fighting team, this is a perfect situation for him. Charlotte needs it. Um, they're they're running with a guy that was just kind of like a walk on. So Jackson Yule would definitely be an upgrade. Um, but if they go ahead and get Ramsey, they might they might go get Jackson Yule as well. So they might just beef up their whole kind of midfield there um so i think that's a it's honestly it's a it's a win-win we get some gam get some tam for a position that we're heavily heavily filled in i mean we have remedy we have Yudson, we have jan gray goose uh we have nico coming in we have cruz medina so these are guys who in the next two to three years are gonna go ahead and 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 um and be that guy for us. So um, even even another guy we don't really talk about because he's been out for so long, but Gilbert Fuentes. I mean, if Gilbert Fuentes is still a part of this team, possibly he can get a chance and playing some minutes. And then Jack Skane. Jack Skane, I have no problem kind of stepping in, into that role, at least as a substitute on every game. He's played very well for us this year, and I feel like he would do a great job you know, on the pitch a little more. So, and then for the next couple of seasons until those guys can develop, Jan Greg is, is someone that I felt gave us enough productivity from his his games that he's played i mean he was leading the assists for the team for for i think the first five games so he was definitely a player that is of quality so i, I would like to see Jan gray goose get signed if we do get rid of jackson jackson yule for some tam and gam and i think we're gonna see i know nathan or nathan i'm sorry he went ahead and he hinted at some new guys coming in possibly in this next week so it's gonna be an interesting week that's for sure it's gonna be a busy one for chris leach especially for Marcos Lopez. Um, but keep an eye out if those guys play today. Again, keep an eye out if Marcos Lopez plays, if Jackson Ewell plays, if Kate Cowell plays. If they're not all on the squad, then that means they're protecting their investments and they're they're already a foot out the door. So again, keep an eye out on those guys. That'll be a, That's going to be a really interesting storyline for the rest of the day. Um, but guys, I just want to give you a quick update. I feel like a whole bunch of Quakes news is good news. So thank you so much for tuning in always. And uh and I appreciate the love. If you see me out there, go say hi. I always I always enjoy meeting all you guys, okay? Take care. Have a good one.